I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching the Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and I hope you like the new emoji stuff. You'll see three faces in this episode, and they are not, you know, tethered to how I feel about any of these pieces of artwork that we're going to look at. They are just cool images that were done by one of our artists, John Selinger, who I actually uh, got these, I think, over a year ago from John, and uh, just I used them here and there from time to time, but I saw that new image come out of Tom Hardy, which is this image right here that was released for the movie and I wanted to have some fun with it, so I added these images to it, much like I did in the first season when I added the drawing that PJ did of my face turning into Venom over the first image we got of Tom Hardy from the new movie. So I was just, you know, kind of a throwback in a way. Uh, but I want to thank John. Thank you for your artwork and all the artists that have contributed to this channel that I've, you know, hired or, you know, some people who have donated some art, but I tried to pay the artists that work, uh, you know, and who whose art I use on this channel because I believe in that big time as someone who worked in comics and, and struggled with art myself um, I think artists should be paid and definitely if I have the money to do so I love to pay artists so typically the art you see on this channel is from artists and if it's not I usually point out when it's you know uh, donated and I share it in like an episode but stuff that's used consistently on this channel uh, is usually paid artwork and if you're out there looking for great artists look down in my description box because the art that is done for my logos and other things on this channel are done by some amazing people and I have them all listed down below so make sure you follow them and uh, hire them Come get, you know get a commission if you can if you have the money they're amazing and for this episode we're going to talk about artwork because they pick the contest winners Talent House finished their contest and they pick their winners for the posters for the Venom Let There Be Carnage movie and it's it's pretty neat we got some fam actually one familiar face in this one or name at least um, someone who won the uh, the first contest as well back with the first movie uh, but we'll get to that but uh, you know Tom Hardy Andy Serkis and the Venom movie all three accounts were sharing these images on their Instagram today which is great obviously I don't have Twitter or Facebook anymore so I imagine they shared them on those platforms as well but, uh, but I have access to Instagram, and I saw all these today, and I was like, all right, this is cool. So now we can make a video on it. So that's what we're doing. We're going to go through and just uh, show the artwork up here and then, you know, with the name of the winner. So the first one here is actually artist Masaki Furukawa uh, from Japan, I believe. And, uh, and uh, Masaki actually won for the first movie. So this is their image for the second movie. Uh, I do like Masaki's artwork, and I think it's really nice looking. It's very clean lines, very visual. Um, I like the, the colors used, too, kind of doing a yin and yang thing uh, with Venom and uh, Carnage here. But, uh, but there's also this image. That was, uh, you know, with Riot in the background and Venom in the foreground. And that was one of the winners for the first contest for the first movie. So uh, Masaki is just doing exactly what uh, the people at Talent House seem to like. Uh, because uh, two for two now with Venom movies, it's pretty awesome. So, uh, so now Masaki it can say they designed posters for both Venom movies, which is really cool. So congratulations to Masaki. Um, and then we also have here Orlando Capali, I believe. And, uh, and this art looks great crazy detail like uh, the it just looks insane and i love how the buildings are like bending it's like a fisheye camera with the two monsters like fighting above the city like fa probably falling towards it and uh, i thought that was cool i think this image looks really really great and yeah actually all ever since the contest started every friday they've used the hashtag fan art friday like a lot of people do on instagram and other platforms on social media and they shared, you know, different entries and, you know, people got to, you know, weigh in and say, oh, I like this one or, you know, whatever. And, and that's kind of cool. And I don't know if that played any, um, you know, deciding factor in the, the, fin the you know, the final choices here. Uh, but uh, but I think that was just fun to involve, you know, the fans and stuff like that. I think that's great. So uh, then we have this big giant, like, w you know, widespread poster, kind of like, a, you know, it's like a sideways poster, I guess, uh, with these two faces facing each other. Um, this one is very cool. I like the style. It's, uh, you know, painted kind of watercolor -y looking. Um, it's really great. I actually don't know the artist's name, but as you can see on there, you can see their, um, you know, at profile on Instagram. And uh, it's, it's really neat, but it is pretty much just that face image that we saw for the first movie just their version of it which is fine but it looks like it's almost duplicated for the carnage side and they just you know twisted the mouth a little bit differently um and then twisted the eyes a little bit differently which is fitting for carnage but it you know it's i don't know it's, it's cool it's like a watercolor thing it's like you know if you painted something on one side and folded the paper in half and then you had the red on the other side it kind of think makes me think of that which is cool and i like that and i like how the letters are red on the, the venom side but black on the carnage side so i think overall i like this it's it's cool looking but um 
but it, it is simpler compared to some of these other ones. Um, but I'm sure it wasn't simple to make. That's for sure. It does. It does look complicated. Um, and say this one too, but this one again, a little bit more detail. Um, uh, they added like a lens flare or something in there. You can kind of see that up by Venom's mouth, uh, but it looks like Venom's head. And this time it's being swallowed by Carnage. So it's kind of like the image from the first movie, but with Carnage coming over him. But then there's like a reflection in Venom's eye of venom or maybe carnage or maybe carnage is standing next to him and that's what it is it's like a side by side view uh because it looks like carnage is like swallowing venom's head if you look at it that way but then you could also say it's them side by side maybe and that's why there's the carnage reflection in venom's eye um this one's okay. This one's by Bronco Rakov, uh, who's the artist, and this one is one of the winners too. Um, you know, not to you know slam on Bronco's art; it's way better than anything I can do, that's for sure. Um, but I, there was a couple other ones that kind of jumped out th at me more than this. But I, I think I see what they're going for here, and it is. Um, it, this will look good in a, you know in a movie theater, like it, you know when they're lining up all the posters and stuff. This could look cool and, and grab your eye. So, um, so that's 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 neat. That's my you know I, I'm kind of like 50-50 on that one. Um, um, this one is also neat again using the red and black uh, this is really cool uh, Jay is the artist on this one uh, at Tienza uh, maybe is uh, hopefully I'm not butchering your last name but uh, this is neat you got the city in red and venom falling so he's like the the you know contrast to the red and then you have carnage up in the sky which is it's not at you know nighttime it's black um, but also if you flip it around uh, you'll actually get kind of the same thing it'll look like carnage is falling and venom is jumping down towards carnage so i kind of like that actually that's really neat again this is simplistic but it works for me i think it works really really well and i like how the lines you know it looks like it's separating the buildings but when you turn it upside down they look like antennas or something coming off the buildings so it's it's really cool i think this is very inventive um and i like uh you know the kind of the title down there in the right corner in white i wish the let there be carnage part was in white too so it'll stand out more but other than that like this is really cool looking um then we have this one here uh which is uh by am cd222 and this is obviously just a reflection of carnage in venom's eye and it's cool and, and weird and, and kind of menacing looking and you see carnage with all those limbs coming out um this is neat uh, this is kind of in keeping with some of the other posters that Sony was already making and working on um, so it kind of has that vibe to it uh, it's almost like the reverse because the other image we saw was like Venom jumping towards uh, the camera uh, in one of the posters that Sony came up with and this is kind of like the almost the inverse of that in a way uh, so or at least a close-up of Venom's face so you can see Carnage coming at him so I like that's kind of neat I like that uh, concept I think a few other people did something similar to that as well congratulations to all you winners out there and everyone who entered like don't you know even if you didn't make it to this round or you know the final round and got picked like still you, you worked your butt off you worked really hard on your drawing so if you did turn something in that's a victory in and of itself because i never even got to that part of the the contest so feel good that you tried and that you got it in in time and that you worked your butt off on your art and uh, always be proud of yourself for that and everyone else uh, who listens to the show and watches the show thank you for the support over the four years that we've been doing it uh, obviously we have almost 100 episodes left to go we're going to probably stop this show at episode 750 and i know a lot of people are like dude i thought you were going to make it to a thousand you know and all that and you never know what the future will hold you'll never know if they announce a venom 3 or a sinister 6 movie with venom in it like we don't know what the future holds we don't know how well this movie will do like it all comes down to will there be more venom content and this show was kind of founded on venom movies so i'm hoping we get a lot more venom stuff the first one was such a success and i hope this one is too um, but it'll come down to a little bit of that but also we've kind of gone through all the comics the toys the history and you know maybe it'd be good to disappear for a little while and then come back whenever a third movie comes in or another movie with venom in it maybe it'd be good to take a, a year or so off if we can and then come back as more comics build up more video games build up that have venom in them and it'll give us more to talk about in between episodes where we talk about the third movie so you never say never but for now at least the plan is to end at episode 750 so you know after tomorrow's episode uh, this is going up i uh, hopefully on saturday uh, july 24th but on the 25th sunday night um that will be will be basically just under two months from venom let there be carnage releasing and we're going to do a live stream tomorrow night. So if you made it to the end of the episode, uh, thank you for making it this far. Definitely hang out, subscribe if you're not already. And tomorrow we're going to do a live stream tomorrow night on Sunday. We're going to do a live stream for about an hour to hour and a half. And we're going to talk about 
you know, just our entire excitement for this movie. We'll talk about this contest if you want. Anything else Venom related? Anything happening in the comics right now? Like, we'll talk about all that stuff tomorrow night to get excited for our final two months before our final eight weeks countdown to Venom Let There Be Carnage. Finally, after all this time we've been waiting, uh, you know, it's it's so exciting to finally be at this point. So tomorrow night, be here, guys. I will be here tomorrow night when I get out of work, and we'll do a live stream and have some fun. Thank you so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.